Uh, how are you, how are you well, doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing okay. That's that's good. Uh, okay. So we got a uh, few versus heist. Uh, I'm really pulling for heist here because I re I don't want to fight Hugh. So. <laughs> yeah, I am out, so I don't have to worry about uh, about who who wins here. Who'd you lose to? Uh, I lost to. I can't remember their names. Uh, I lost to a Dark Pit slash DDD player. Oh, I think I was watching him. Yeah, he's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And then, I forget who I lost to round one. Anyways, this is a matchup I've never seen before in my entire life. Yeah, I mean, I, with like Heist, he play, I mean, whenever he plays Ice Climbers, it's like a whole new matchup I've never seen. Yeah, I've, I've, played, I've played Heist before in the one other tournament I've been to here. It's a uh, ice climbers are strange, very cool at the same time. Like you making use of his trademark, you know, platform camping strategy, where he just like sits on top of the platform and then drops down and does an aerial. For some reason, like people have a hard time with it. Um, you really just have to put a hitbox out below him. Like if you have a disjoint, then you can catch the plat drop. Well, if there's one thing ice climbers has. It's disjoints. Oh, no. Yeah, shoot. Seems like Ice Climbers struggle to get in versus a character with a sword. Yeah, that's interesting. It kind of looks interesting if, uh, if Heist just... Well, that's a mistake, but... Yeah. If he, um... It seems like if he use, uses Blizzard under the plat with Ice Climbers, it catches Hugh's plat drop aerials. Oh, never mind. Ooh. You can just run <laughs> off it. Oh, okay. Never mind. Very one sided game one. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if I. They, they just don't have the, the range, I think. Oh, that's a punish. Yes. Very nice. Alright, is this the but beginning of a comeback? Oh, that was really good. Nice, nice desync. I think the the side B is unpunishable if it's desynced. So. Interesting. I didn't know that. Oh, he, did you see that? He that was, was he was he was using Blizzard, and then the other then the Ice Climber was That's using so cool. Uptilt. Yeah. And he was really making use of these upbeats out of shield. Like, he, I think he's landed like every, almost every single one. The only one I think he missed was the oh, one he, he died for that first stock. And this is a Can he make it back? Mountain. Oh, he does. So Sopo actually has like kind of secret power up because one like okay never mind. But because the the Sopo player tends to be more careful when Nana dies, and also the opponent tends to underestimate Sopo. So this is true. You can make a lot of co uh, comebacks that way. Right. Well, we'll see if both players stick to their characters for this next round. And taking taking Hugh to Pokemon is such a not a good choice. <laughs> it's, it's like that stage is his home. He's so comfortable on that stage. Hovered over the the King DDD. I, I think that's not a bad idea, to be honest. I, okay. Oh, here we go. Yes, yes. It's been forever since I've seen Albert's DDD. I think at least this time uh, he will have a hard tar harder time killing Albert. Oh, I forget. Is DVD heavy or light? He's very heavy. He's like third heaviest in the game. Right. It's just it's hard to tell because of how floaty he is sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Beautiful. Oh, that was almost. That was very close to being yeah. devastating. <laughs> Yeah, DDD can, can just kind of eat these ledge traps because he's so fat. Like... Good parry on the on the spike ball there. 
thing about like Sopo, like I mean, Ice Climbers is like if you eat a ledge trap from Roy, like either you're separated or you're like off stage, and then that's just like a terrible situation. Oh, but with DDD, you can just kind of tank it. Like. It'll definitely work in a. Uh, I don't know either of their names. There's yeah. Hugh and then. Albert, you said? Yeah. It'll definitely work in Albert's favor, the ability to eat the ledge traps, because it seems like yeah. they happen fairly often. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he's reading the air dodge. That cost him, like. That was, I was uh, going to say that almost cost him a stock. That was quite the read. It's interesting that Hugh's going Roy. I, I was expecting the Pokemon trainer. That is his his go-to. Yeah, so I'm I not sure why he's playing Roy. What are we gonna see here? Do let's try Spike Ball. Oh. You turning that disadvantage into an advantage. Oh, he didn't turn around. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Oh, uh, there we go. It's definitely still doable for Heist. Oh, he's going for the inhale cheese. Indeed, <laughs> nice. he can live for, for quite I a like lot it. longer. Mm. Uh. Going under the plat and shielding is not a really good idea because like Roy's fair is like super safe on shield and it's hard to punish. Right. You have to throw out a hitbox. Oh, oh nice. Oh, right into it. Oh, oh nice. So that's it. I know. Oh, here's a jump. God damn it. This is a uh, quite the comeback we're seeing. Wow. Okay. Nice. 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 Oh. 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 Fuck. Okay. DDD has a lot of interesting interactions with the ledge. Yeah, he's he's a very good ledge trap. But even a lot of tools to make sure that he can get back. Like you saw uh, the up air. Oh god, that's a bit. Oh, he didn't grab for some reason. I, I think that's it. Yeah. All right. Good stuff to Hugh. I'd say that was a that was a pretty decisive set. Yeah. Overall.